On a normal day, little traffic passes through Thurman, Iowa. <laughs> this wasn't a normal day. Jim knew this horse. Dixie is one of the many horses Jim Bronco Hunter has met over the years. A horseman himself, he would have loved this. How else for a horseman to uh, go to his burial site but in a horse-drawn carriage? Surrounded by family and friends, friends who frankly Jim treated like family, the streets filled and then stood still. One of the biggest funerals I've ever been to. He did it. When you reach the age of 80, sometimes few friends are left. One look at the procession following, you can tell Jim was the life of the party till the very end. Along for his last ride, Marcy Doran and Jim's son, Gail. I don't know how to describe it other than special. Jim's nephew and riding buddy says there's too many stories to tell. You see, Jim was everyone's favorite, and the stories? Boy, could Jim tell a good one. Humorous, they were serious, they were sad. Um, traveling with Jim, if you sat down for story time, you went to bed with a sore stomach because you laughed your guts out. One such story, he and Brad were out on a ride. Jim turned to warn everyone in their group of wild turkeys ahead and how it could spook their horses. And at that time, a turkey flew up, Jim got bucked off, and we stood and laughed. He was just a great guy. Everyone in this crowd had a story, a reminder that a life lived isn't lost. And while the carriage may be empty now, everyone knows Jim would have loved that very last ride. Reporting in Thurman, Iowa, I'm Matthew Smith, WOWT 6 News.